Here in the United States, more than 50 million people experienced chronic pain in 2021. Across the world, some 55 million people are living with dementia, with 10 million new cases every year. Scientists are looking into a possible link between chronic pain, inflammation, and dementia. Arthritis, back pain, inflammation, and even cancer are common causes of chronic pain. In a study of 500,000 UK participants, it was discovered the longer the pain lasts, the higher your risk of developing dementia. In another study, doctors at UT Health San Antonio concluded pain triggers immune cells to create neuroinflammation that can lead to changes in brain function. In the study that we had looked at with Framingham participants and cardiovascular health study participants, uh, we had seen that the higher markers of soluble CD14 predicted a higher risk of developing dementias of all types. It was like they were aging faster. New studies are showing that people who have experienced inflammation and chronic pain for more than three months are at a higher risk of developing dementia. Their risk of developing dementia or stroke is multifactorial. A part of it is inflammation, a part of it is perhaps other things. So we expect that a multi-marker panel may tell an individual which part needs to be more um, aggressively treated. Research continues on ways to prevent dementia. So Dr. Cesardi says that the only markers to determine someone's risk at this point are age, sex, and a gene that provides instruction about a certain protein made in the body. It's called a POE. But her team is also considering adding blood markers to get a more accurate consensus.